Hi everyone, my name is Kate from Soft School. In this lesson, we are going to talk in detail about importing SketchUp models into 3ds Max. Also, feel free to join our Patreon to get access to exclusive lessons and support the creation of new videos. Patrons also receive unique materials and bonuses to help you learn even more efficiently. Firstly, it's important to note that using geometry created in SketchUp for visualization is not the best idea. You can adapt it, but ideally it should only be used as a convenience for creating a new model with correct topology. And the video will be based on this exact goal moving forward. Before importing a model, I recommend opening the file in SketchUp to check for unnecessary geometry. You can delete high polygon objects like plants right away, and then go to 3ds Max. The first step is to check that the correct units of measurement are set in the program, both display and system units. This is important for importing the model at the correct scale. Next, go to the File menu. Import, Import, open the directory, and if nothing is displayed, select All Formats from the drop-down. Choose the required file and click Open to bring up the Import Settings menu. Make sure to select Z as the vertical axis. This is important to ensure the geometry imports in the correct orientation. Next, you'll see Hierarchy Modes. I find the Groups option to be the most convenient. I also recommend unchecking preserve layers to avoid importing a large number of unnecessary layers. Let's move on to the options. There's no need to import cameras, as you'll have to set them up manually in your render engine anyway. You can keep texture import on for a better visual representation of objects in the viewport. We definitely don't need double-sided faces as they interfere with welding vertices. Hidden objects are often auxiliary, so it's usually unnecessary to import them either. High-resolution textures will slow down the import process, and since we'll be creating materials from scratch, they're also unnecessary. Now, click Import, wait a bit, and you're done. The geometry is imported. Next time, you can simply drag the SketchUp file into the viewport, and all previous import settings will be saved. Note, however, that dragging the model will attach it to your cursor, while importing through the file menu will ensure that it appears in the same coordinates, which can be useful when working. So, we've imported the entire model, but what if we only need to import a part of the geometry from the file? Open SketchUp and select what you need. For example, I'll choose this bathroom group if the object you want is inside a group, double-click to open it and select the object. To exit the group, click anywhere outside the selection. Now go to the File menu. Export 3D model. Choose the directory where you want to save the file and I recommend selecting the FBX format as it's the most adaptable. Next, open the Options menu and check Export only current selection. We don't need triangulation of all faces. We also don't need two-sided faces. And there's no need to split faces into separate elements either, as this interferes with proper geometry handling in 3ds Max. Keep texture export on if you need them. Be sure the Swap YZ option is enabled to ensure the z-axis is vertical. Then, set the units you're working with in 3ds Max. Click OK and then Export. Wait a bit, and it's done. Now we move on to 3ds Max. Again, go to File. Import. Find the directory where you saved the FBX file and load it. You'll see the Import window, and this is where you need to be careful. Sometimes the importer makes a mistake and misreads the units of measurement in the file. That is, SketchUp has millimeters, but here for some reason it has centimeters. If you leave it like this, the geometry will be imported at the wrong scale. I go to the Advanced Options tab and notice that because the system shows centimeters, while my scene uses millimeters, the program sets the scale factor to 10. This means the imported geometry will be 10 times larger 
than needed. So I uncheck automatic and select centimeters, which sets the scale factor to one. In this window, you can also choose to include or exclude certain types of objects from the import. However, as we've already set up the export parameters in SketchUp and we're not working with animation at the moment, you can skip these settings and click OK. Done. The geometry is imported at the correct scale and placed in its proper coordinates. This is especially useful when working on large projects where the client sends updates for specific objects. In such cases, there's no need to load the entire scene again. Just import the necessary elements. That's it for today. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Learn is a little soft school.